I'm sure you've all seen a tennis racket before, and have probably flipped one too. You may have flipped it like this, in which case, it's perfectly stable around its axis. Or you may have flipped it like this, in which case, it's also perfectly stable around its axis. However, if you flipped it like this, end to end, it might have been a bit hard to catch. In this position, the racket does not rotate stably, but tumbles and twists in the air, unlike the first two positions. But why does this happen? In order to explain this, I would first have to explain something called moment of inertia. A basic way to describe the moment of inertia of an object is to see how easy it is to rotate it. For example, a tire has a greater moment of inertia than a tennis ball because it's much harder to put a tire into rotational motion than to put a tennis ball into rotational motion. In this way, the moment of inertia of an object resists a change in rotational motion, and this, an object with a greater amount of inertia, is much harder to put into rotational motion. So back to our tennis racket. This is the first axis of rotation, and rotation around it is shown by the following video. Around this axis, the moment of inertia is the least, and this is one of the times the rotation is stable. Now this is the second axis of rotation, and rotation around it is shown by the following video. Around this axis, the moment of inertia is the greatest. This position is also stable while rotating. Now, this is the third axis, and rotation is shown by the following video. Watch closely. This is the axis that has the intermediate amount of moment of inertia about it. It's neither the highest nor the lowest, but somewhere in the middle. It's the position that wobbles. So the intermediate axis theorem, also known as the tennis racket theorem, states that an object with three distinct moments of inertia, like this tennis racket, will rotate stably around the axes with the greatest and the least moment of inertia, but will wobble on the one with the medium, or the intermediate amount of moment of inertia. The tennis racket theorem can be observed in many everyday objects such as books, smartphones, and decks of cards. Basically, the tennis racket theorem can be observed in anything with axes with three distinct moments of inertia around them, including tennis rackets.